This is different from other languages where the initial greeting was separate from the response. It was the first time when saying hello became a real, genuine exchange rather than an automated response. In my eyes, the most beautiful way to say hello is a sanamwani. The, cultural, the customary greeting in many Arab cultures, which literally translates to may peace be upon you. The exchange is only completed when the second speaker says, may peace be upon you too. Wa alaykum After living in the UAE for 17 years, I can proudly say that the Arabic language and culture has, been, uh, has had an immense impact on my life in the Middle East. I can't imagine my life without it, and I hope that by through speaking Arabic, we can allow for a real, genuine exchange, like when we say assalamu alaykum. This is why we, as UAE expats, should speak in Arabic with the Arabic. So many of you already know the benefits of being bilingual. Bilingualism benefits the brain's executive functioning system, which helps working memory, logical reasoning, and cognitive flexibility. These skills then translate to improved metalinguistic awareness and nonverbal problem solving. And, and this study comparing uh, participants who read Arabic and Spanish script, participants who read uh, Arabic script showed higher brain activity in persons' brain associated with working memory and, and problem solving. And now, while these benefits can be acquired by anyone around the world, uh, my talk, and I'm here to talk to you about why it's important for people in the UAE to speak more Arabic. We're incredibly lucky to live in one of the most culturally diverse cities in the world, where you'll find policemen that speak Hindi, Arabic, and English fluently, and have friends who are from two opposite sides of the world. And we are all here for one purpose, and that is to connect and unite, and we must use this to our advantage. In November, I traveled to Amman, Jordan, for a Model United Nations trip. Um, and as soon as we landed, I was determined to speak to someone in Arabic. And I was too scared to speak to someone in front of my friends. So I chose to speak to someone, I speak to an immigration officer, which allowed for some prime opportunity for some personal interaction, which is myself, the officer, and the boss in between us. I approached the officer with my passport in my hand, open to my visa, and he looked at my passport, an Indian passport. And I asked him, Marhaba, keep it. And he said, Tikalam Arabi? You speak Arabic? And I said, a little bit, sort of. He happily stamped my passport, put my boarding pass in it, gave it back to me, and he said, in Hindi, Ab kesehe. <laughs> At this point, I was just amazed because we weren't, neither of us were offended in our efforts to find common ground. It was merely a gesture of kindness. And not only had I broken barriers for him, but he had done the same for me. The need for Arabic-speaking individuals in the UAE is highly coveted in numerous job sectors in the Middle East. As a result of Expo 2020, 277,000 new jobs will be created, and 40% of them will be in the sector of travel and tourism, which makes Arabic a growing necessity. For example, my grandfather, my role model, and also an expat of the UAE lived in Beirut before uh, living in Dubai. And he says that without Arabic, he wouldn't have been able to form many of his most valued friendships today. 92% of the UAE's population are expats. And as expats, we're constantly traveling, and that makes the UAE extremely transient. We're one of the countries in the Middle East with the highest expatriate population, and we must use this to unite people from all over the world. Arabic to the UAE has the power to connect, unite, uh, and unite people across hemispheres. Now, we must connect and unite. That is the point of my talk. And that is why I'm here to talk to you all today. Um, so according to the American Council for Foreign Language Teaching, 
when a person learns a new language, they they have a new newfound appreciation for that language, and they therefore have a new positive attitude. So imagine if we all spoke Arabic as expats. We could then have this newfound appreciation and extend our conversations to, to such a more wide, a wide audience and share opinions with so many more people. So imagine if all of us spoke Arabic. We would be able to have these conversations. And most of us here, since I said before, 92% of us are expats in the UAE. Most of us have, have connections to two parts of the world. UAE and our country of origin. And for me, that's India, and for you, that might be the United States. So let us strengthen all of these ties and efforts to create a larger community for us all as global citizens. It is important for us as expats to speak Arabic and to allow for, allow for a conversation, a valuable conversation of exchange between people from all over the world. And I hope that by through Arabic, we can allow for exchange like when we say assalamu alaikum. This is why we as UA expats should speak in Arabic with Arabic. Shukran. <laughs>